be a drill more for like short offense. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Jimmy start here on his hands and knees. Okay, and if for short offense, you know, if we want to get around behind this guy, you got to think, you know, he's, he's got a good solid base right here. He's got, you know, this is, if he's a table, these are the legs. We got to knock something out. I really want to get him to his elbows right here. I'd like to be able to pull this guy forward, get the weight forward right here, and, and, and make him get heavy on this head. Okay, so a good drill. I'm just going to start. He's going to be up here on his hands and knees. I'm going to start right behind the armpits, right at the triceps. And I'm here. I'm going to take a little step back and just pull. Boom. Right here. We want to get him to his, to his elbows. Okay? Now, this isn't 100% lifelike, but one thing we got to focus on is keeping our elbows in, keeping his head underneath my chest. Okay, I don't really want to be out here to the side where I feel like he can maybe come underneath. You know, if I'm right here, his, if his head can come underneath my armpit, I don't feel real comfortable right there. Okay, so as we do this drill, we're still focusing on good position. Elbows are in, head's covered. Okay, and I might bump him a little bit, but I'm going to pull him to his elbows and then start looking for a go behind right here. Okay, now when I talk about go behind, obviously I'm coming around behind, but I still have to make sure I keep weight on this arm. So my hand is going to turn thumb out. I'm making a C, but my hand turns from in to out right here. Okay, it's one of those little things that just puts a little bit more weight on that arm. That's what's going to allow me to get behind. Other hand comes across, blocking. Now as I go behind, my head comes across. My chin's going to come across to the other side to keep the weight on. Now we're coming behind. Okay, it's real simple. It's not a lot of technique, but it gets these guys in the habit of pulling this guy forward, getting the weight up here towards his head, getting uh, him off his hands and to his elbows. Right here. Turn that hand, thumb out, other hand's coming across the block, up on my toes, chest up, head across, coming up the crotch or to the ankle. I try to break this guy down every time. As you drill this, make sure I pull this guy down here, boom. As I go behind, I have to make sure I'm not coming to the waist. Right here, just looking to get side rolled here. Okay, that's real important as we work on this. Talk to your guys about, yeah, I'm gonna pull them down, okay? I'm in good position to score right here. I block, I'm coming around behind, I'm coming ankle or right up the crotch and driving through him. This isn't good enough, just right here. I mean, that's okay, but let's put him in a bad position immediately. Always get in the habit after a takedown, we're looking for a good breakdown or a turn right away. So we're stepping back, get some space, move him, come around behind, now here, in the crotch or at an ankle, and driving through hips in, right here. Breaking that guy down all the way.